Today I'm going to do a do-it-yourself for making a bottle for your reborn baby. And the first thing I do is I get a plastic bag and a pair of scissors. And I'm going to cut a corner off of here. Okay, just a little corner. And then set this aside so I don't lose it, hopefully. And I've already put water in my bottle, and I'm not making a full bottle. I'm only making a partial bottle. And let me see if I can reach this other bottle. Your bottle will not always look white. You might have to shake it up, but if you shake it up, it will be fine. Okay, now we're going to seal this bottle and seal the nipple. The first thing we're going to do is seal the nipple. And I don't want to spill my water everywhere. So, anyway, I'm going to take the hot glue gun and push some glue down in the bottom of it. glue is clear so it's not really going to show and then I'm going to take my little piece of plastic here and separate it I'm sorry I'm having one of those mornings today and I'm going to push it down in the bottle and my finger doesn't go all the way down so oh, where's my paintbrush I'm going to use a paintbrush and push this all the way down to the ink bottom. And as you know, hot glue gun, the glue dries really fast, but I'm trying to get this further down. Okay, see, I've got my finger all the way in there. And now I'm going to squeeze this so I can pull my finger back in. Okay, now when this dries, you will not even notice the plastic in there. I mean, right now I can kind of see it, but it's not going to be real obvious. Okay. And what I'm going to use today is there are several things you can use for the milk. I actually like to use powdered milk. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do more than one thing at once. Because I like the way powdered milk looks. And it is easy to shake the bottle up. Now we do seal the bottles because we don't want the milk to spoil and curdle in there. So we seal it so it won't do that. But the first thing we're going to do is, and I don't see my, oh, there it is. I brought a spoon in here, and hmm, maybe my son put this back on. Oh, what did he do? I've been having trouble with this lid. I don't know why. You get it on and it doesn't want to go off. To get it. There we go. Okay. And you can kind of do it for however much you want. This is only going to be a half bottle. Um, I like using half bottles when I do small babies. And I'm going to put one, two, Three, four, five. Let me put this lid back on there so that spills powdered milk. You can use other things. I do not recommend lotion because lotion will break your seal on the bottle because it's uh, 
got a lot of oil in it. Man, I found that if that over time it just kind of wears the glue away, and this is why this is having so much trouble. It's not going on straight. It still won't go on straight, but it's on. Okay, so now I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to put hot glue in it. And the good thing about hot glue is it dries real fast. And I'm going to go around the edge of the bottle so the lid will seal. And then I'm going to put it on the bottle. Okay, now when this dries, it will be totally sealed. But I can still shake it up now and have the milk ready. Now I can shake this up. That other bottle I showed you is probably two, three months old. So it's not going to look bad even after that amount of time. So it looks like you have formula here and you don't have real baby formula. Um, some people use Elmer's glue. Um, I don't really like it because it sticks to the side of the bottle, so it doesn't really look real. Um, like I said, a lot of people use lotion. I don't like that idea because it eats away at the uh, glue and it ruins the seal. And um, anyway, um, this is just a Dollar Tree bottle. I buy a lot of bottles from Dollar Tree because they're cheap. <laughs> and so, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. But that is how you make a reborn baby bottle. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.